Watch well, you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. Uh, it seems that these are becoming uh, pretty popular nowadays and uh, they're not really that hard to remove anymore. They're pretty easy. And as you can see here, they've not put much effort into this one either. Association of uh, Chief Police Officers, Action Fraud. Uh, for security reasons, your Windows system has been locked. The reasons are for visiting uh, infected sites or pornographic sites. And uh, to get out of this ransom, basically, they want you to go to one of these sites, you cash or pay safe card, and uh, pay £100, and then you put the code in, and it will get you off of this ransom. We're not going to do that. We're going to remove it manually, and uh, or with uh, malware bytes, either way. Now, the best way to remove these is in safe mobile networking. Uh, on this one, it doesn't run, run in safe mobile networking. Um, but if you have got one that does run in safe mobile networking, then you're best to boot up to um, Kaspersky Rescue CD and run scans from there and uh, follow on some of my older videos, um, Windows Unlocker and stuff like that, and it should remove it for you. Okay, so this reboots a safe mobile networking, and uh, the instructions are on the screen right now if you don't know how to do that. Okay, so I was tapping F8 on the keyboard to get to the advanced boot options and I'm going to come down to safe mode with networking. Now if this doesn't work for you, you can also try safe mode with command prompt uh, to see if that will let you get in there. Just watch some milder videos and you'll see how to do that. But we're going to use safe mode with networking for this one. Okay, so we're at the uh, desktop of safe mode here, as you can see. Just close that off. Now, once we get to this stage, really, it's pretty much uh, its days are numbered. Um, we're going to be killing it pretty easy from here. Now, we could run uh, malware bytes. You can also access the internet and download Hitman Pro, malware bytes, any of these types of um, scanning software that will remove it for you. Um, but we're going to do it uh, manually. We're going to go into where it lives and find it and then delete it. So computer, then we're going to go C drive, users, and then into the account that's infected. In this case, mine's called Brightech, and then app data. Now, if you can't see these, you know you've seen me do this a million times. Uh, folder and search options here, view, and you need to show hidden files and folders here. And also, I always always take the tick out of hide extensions, and then click that, and you should be able to see these files. And there you can see the culprit, that's the one there. So I'm going to remove this from the system. You can see something else there. I'm going to remove that as well. Okay, go back. I'm going to go into local here. And then Microsoft. Then Windows. And then I'm uh, going to go into 1167. And you can see a file there. I'm going to remove that there. Remove that as well. Okay, so I'm going to come back here, close this off. I'm going to come down to the start and type msconfig. I'm going to click on this and go to start up here, and then we're going to take the ticks out of this one here. And we're going to take the tick out of this one here. Click OK. Exit without restart for now. And then I'm going to run malware bytes here. I'm going to do an update. Because we're in safe mobile networking, it does give us networking access, which means we can update. If you're using command prompt, obviously you won't be able to update, and that can be a bit of a problem. Okay, that's the database updated. Let's just pull this in a bit here. I'm going to empty the recycle bin here. And then I'm going to run a scan. Go to scanner and run a quick scan here. Okay, so that's the results. And as you can see, it's come back clean. So I'm going to close this off. Click OK. Now, if you didn't want to do that manually, you can always run malware bytes, And it should do all that for you without having to do all that manually. Um, 
The next thing I would do is also run a TDSS killer just to make sure there's no rootkits that's been dropped on the system. And that's good, there's nothing there. And you can also, if you've got other infections, run Hitman Pro, Super Anti Spyware, ESET Online Scanner, stuff like that to make sure that uh, they're all gone. You want to check your proxy servers as well. And you can do that with uh, Roadkiller as well. Roadkiller's got a, a cool little tool here that will allow you to check your proxies. And if you come into uh, the tabs here, you can see hosts and proxies. It will check all these for you. And all you need to do is done a, do a scan here and it will check your hosts and your proxy settings in your DNS as well. And you can fix those if they've been uh, changed. Okay, and that's be pretty much it for this video. So let's reboot the system first and uh, see how that goes. Okay, and you can see that ransom's now gone. Pretty straightforward, really easy, uh, no difficulty there at all. And uh, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now, if you haven't followed me on Facebook yet, then go to my YouTube channel page and you can see a Facebook link there. And you can uh, add me on there and also Twitter as well. If you've got any problems with your computers, the forum's the place to be for that. And if you've got any video requests, then send me a personal message on YouTube and I'll do my best to make that video for you. So thanks again. Bye for now.